Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you like all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle, New York City, and bridal, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into today's video. As an influencer, I feel like I've tried every single product on the market and can honestly tell you guys what is worth it, what is not, what options you absolutely need. So I'm going to go through all of my summer beauty must-haves and maybe the products you should skip or use something different instead. Let me start with my number one summer beauty must have. And this is for my girls whose thighs rub together, the Mega Babe anti-chafing stick. I used to always put deodorant between my legs to like prevent them from rubbing together and like causing like a rash. But this is so much better, especially if you're not using a natural deodorant, there are a lot of harmful chemicals in normal deodorants that you probably don't want around your like vagine area. It is just the perfect texture. It has prevented me from getting a single ounce of what I call chub rub. The, it's made of aloe, pomegranate, and grapeseed oil. Um, if you wanna prevent chafing, this is your best friend. I really haven't heard of any other products on the market that are like that. A follower actually recommended that to me and I, I literally bought it myself and I'm obsessed like I would buy this I'm going to buy this a thousand times over um but I really don't have anything to compare to other than normal deodorant which this definitely is the better option next up sunscreen I could literally write an entire thesis on sunscreen I am a sunscreen addict I literally don't tan my face I put on sunscreen every day and I reapply I have a million different types of sunscreen and I'm gonna tell you what you need for what. This is going to be a very controversial take because this sunscreen has a cult following and I used to be a part of that cult. I was obsessed with the L to MD like tinted sunscreen all last summer and I actually found something that I like so much better. I know that this is the one Hailey Bieber uses. I know that people love it, but I think that the Sun Bum tinted sunscreen is so much better, and here's why. I love that this sunscreen is pretty much fragrance free. Well, it's not like, I don't know if this is like actually fragranced or whatever, but there's just like this sunscreen has such a specific smell that after a while I started getting nauseous with it and it almost felt like it was trapping dirt in my face a little bit. Like, I know that that sounds crazy, but like for some reason, like I felt like my face smelt more like the New York City air after using this than after using this. I also think that makeup sits better on this one than it does on this one. After I started using both, I really, really fell in love more with this one and it gave like a kind of like more natural glow than I think this one did. I will say this one has a little bit of like an airier formula. So I like the Sunbun more. I think that it makes you glow, it makes your skin look amazing. It is a perfect option for when you want like a light coverage. It can be worn as like basically like a tinted moisturizer or foundation, whatever, if you want a light coverage, not if you want like a full face. Like I'm wearing a full face right now with like foundation. It won't give you this filtered look, but I'm gonna put a picture over here of what my face looks like when I wear the sun bum. And it still looks like so shimmery and natural and golden. For the days where I have no makeup on at all and I'm just like going out to run errands, going to the gym, doing that, I always have the glow screen super goop stick in my bag. Like, it is so easy to reapply. I reapply it all day. It's easy to put on, no fragrance. Gives you a nice healthy glow that I love. It is not as great when you wanna put makeup over it. I find that it makes the makeup kind of pill a little bit. And also for reapplying, it does move your makeup if you were to try to reapply over makeup. So I don't really love that for like days where I'm wearing makeup, but I do love it for my no makeup days. Okay, so for the days where you have makeup on, you don't want to get it messed up and you want to reapply your sunscreen, you need the Sunscreen Facial Mist by Sunbum. This stuff is amazing. It doesn't move your makeup and you can reapply so easily. I'm just going to like spray some on my face right now. It is so light and honestly, it kind of works as a setting spray. I love it. I'm obsessed. It's a beauty must have. One last sunscreen honorary mention is for when you wanna put sunscreen underneath your makeup, like a full face, like foundation wise, I like the Zerad Environmental Shield. I think that this is a really strong sunscreen and I think that like it does the job and with reapplying with the mist, like these two together work so well. I know that a lot of foundations say they have sunscreen in it, but I just don't think that people use enough foundation to make that sunscreen like enough. I think that you need to put that initial strong layer of sunscreen using this one. 
Okay, moving on to my hair favorites. We have the Redken High Bright, what is it called? Blondage High Bright. Now, now on to my hair favorites. Now on to my hair favorites, the Redken Blondage High Bright Shampoo. I also used to use the conditioner, I really liked it. This really gives my blonde hair the color that I like. Like purple shampoos, I feel like make it a little like grayer than I would like, a little ashier than I would like. And sometimes I do throw in a little purple shampoo moment, just like even out a little bit. But I think that this gives it like that bright yellowy kind of vibe that I really love. And I'm obsessed with it. And the formula is amazing. The lather is amazing. My hair has gotten so much better using this. I live by this. I also really live by the Living Proof Restore Damage Conditioner. I think that it has helped my hair through a lot of really hard times. I posted a vlog a few weeks ago about like how matted my hair gets when I get sad and a little depressed and have a little bit of depression hair. And this really does save it and keeps my hair feeling healthy even after I've treated it badly. So I highly recommend. I've also recently started using this product, I've talked about it before, and it's the Triple Bond Complex. I feel like it's definitely made my hair stronger and healthier. It also is a little bit of heat protectant, which is very helpful, but it has really restored the strength of my hair. I feel like it looks so much better. Leaving conditioner that I really, really love is the Kevin Murphy. It also is a heat protectant as well. And if you have color treated hair, it works magic. My sister dyes her hair like bright red and she started using the Kevin Murphy like line of products. Helps her hair so much. I'm gonna put a picture of her right here. It helps her hair stay so vibrant. In terms of other hair products, I'm talking hairspray, dry shampoo, whatever. Moroccan oil is my favorite. Um, I love this hairspray. I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. It keeps your hair, it holds your hair so strong, but it also doesn't have that like chemically hairspray kind of scent it smells of Moroccan oil which if you haven't smelled is like the most incredible smell in the entire world I really really love it um and their products are just like top-notch salon products so I highly recommend their oil their hairspray their heat protectant love me some Moroccan oil now let's move on to body I actually don't switch up my shower gels that much because I have eczema and really sensitive skin. So the times that I have tried to branch out a little bit from like using only Dove soap, I have gotten rashes, but there are two products that have been fine with my skin that I really love. And the first is the necessary exfoliator. I love this exfoliator. It makes my skin feel so smooth. I use it with a loofah and I really, really love it. The formula is great and my skin feels amazing after. And then for the body wash, like, this has to be the first body wash other than Dove that doesn't make me break out and I absolutely love it. It's by Sweet Spot Labs and it is, it is just chef kiss. It is scent free, it is gentle. This entire brand focuses on female, like, genitalia care and it's a whole body wash, but it just like is so sensitive and I just love it. It's so good. So I highly, highly recommend, especially if you have sensitive skin. While we are on the topic of body care, let's talk about lotions. So if you need a thick, creamy nighttime lotion that will keep your skin moisturized, Keys is the moment. This is what you need. It is incredible. I love it and in the winter time I pair it with the body oil but it's summer right now so let's focus on just the lotion I don't add body oil in the summer but this is your nighttime lotion this keeps moisture locked in you will your skin will feel amazing especially because like air conditioner and stuff like that dries things out this is so helpful so highly recommend keys for your nighttime lotion for the daytime when you want something a little bit lighter I have two favorites I have my Susan Kaufman which is light, luxurious. But for when I'm on the go, I really, really, really love the Curel Spray Lotion. This is such a cool invention, I have to show you guys. Um, I feel like spraying it just makes it so much easier. You literally just like, you spray it on your skin and it feels so light. It's like air. And like, you just like rub it in. It's almost like water. If you haven't heard of this project, like I was shocked when I saw this and it is incredible. Okay, now onto the face beauty products. This is my favorite beauty product ever. I notice a really crazy difference in my skin whenever I use it. It is the Daily Micro Exfoliant by Dermalogica. 
I've had this one bottle for months. It lasts me forever. I only use it three times a week. It is just incredible. It transforms my skin. It leaves it so smooth, so healthy. By the way, so I've been loving the Oraveda enzyme cleansing oil it's a makeup remover and exfoliant anti-pollution love it you actually use a kabuki brush with it which is so luxurious i really love how this cleanses my skin and removes makeup it is top notch and like just incredible this is like peak skincare next we have eye creams um this is a great daytime eye cream it's by image skincare it is so light, it, it brightens your eyes and I feel like it really helps with my dark circles and it wears amazing under makeup. I highly recommend this for the daytime. And then for the night, I always combine Clarins Double Serum with the Curel Eye Cream. This, this girl is thick, this is amazing serum. It just works so well together. My eyes are so hydrated when I wake up in the morning. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Now for daytime face creams the more budget-friendly option. This is not a drugstore product. This is still pretty expensive, but this is the probably one of the best face creams I've ever used. They actually have it at my gym, Equinox, and I use it there all the time still. This is empty. I used it till it was finished, and I loved it so much, um, but it is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It is the perfect, easy, light, moisturizer like it wears perfect under makeup and moisturize your skin you can wear without makeup and so like it's still so great highly highly recommend this is like a holy girl product if you are going more into the luxury skincare route i love the revive revive i don't know how to pronounce it but this daily moisturizer is amazing um it has spf in it it's just so thick and i really really just like love i'm i've been using this one since i ran out of this one a while ago i've been holding on to it so i can film this video um and i also got it at the gym but i've been using this for like the last like two months to prep for the wedding because again i've been doing more luxury skincare leading up to the wedding and i've noticed such a difference in my skin i really really love it we're almost to the end guys we have nighttime lotions and this is my favorite nighttime lotion it is the revive recovery for sensitive skin i prefer it to the i'm gonna call it revive revive also has another night moisturizer but i don't like this one as much because it has a very strong scent and you guys know that i don't like scents but like the texture and everything is like a little i'm not crazy about this product but i am crazy about this product i've been using this for like five months like i'm almost to the end like i'm i'm going to run out soon it's like almost out i wish though that the applicator on this because it's one of those like push kind of moisturizer um options i prefer the ones where you can just like dip in personally um so i can see how much product i have left and know when i'm running out i can't tell when i'm actually running out but it's like starting to like when i squeeze it like doesn't come out as much again i wish that i had a more budget option than this one for you guys and finally we have lip products because i have larger lips and yes they are natural i get a lot of questions about that lip care is very important to me because like they get very very dry in the winter so here are my favorite lip products. Tatcha Lip Mask, incredible, show-stopping, love this. In the winter time though, I do love the Florence by Mills more. This locks in moisture like crazy. This lip mask is thick and I love that. Um, and then for when I'm like just on the go, Kosa Sport is one of my favorites. They come in a bunch of different like tinted colors and a clear as well. I use all of them. Ooh, I just love it, it's my favorite. Thank you all for watching me babble on about skincare. Love you all. Like and subscribe. Mwah.